Let's talk about, though, the big story of today when Australians are now suffering because of the cold weather, not certain that they're able to warm themselves up. Uh, I, I feel disgusted. I feel disgusted that in this country today we're leaving coal on the ground, causing the price of coal to spike all around the world at a time when gas is short around the world. We're leaving gas in the ground. And yet here we have, Bronwyn, we've got people suffering, elderly Australians suffering mm. tonight, uncertain whether they can afford the power. At least, at least to Chris Bowen's credit, he hasn't discounted a regeneration of coal or using coal again, and the Greens hate him for it. So if the Greens hate you, Chris Bowen, fair chance it could be the right decision. <laughs> well, well, Gary, I, I think the important thing is that the rubber is finally hitting the road. Uh, and quite frankly, yeah. when um, the former Prime Minister Morrison uh, went for um, net zero by 2050, he just abandoned the arguments which had been prosecuted successfully exactly. for years and years and years uh, by the government of the day and telling the truth. Well, here we have it. We've now got Labor in power and we've got Teals and we've got Greens, so there'll be no more bushfires and no more floods because they've got elected. <laughs> And they if they it. fail, if we have one bushfire or one flood, it means they either told lies or they failed. And that's going to be the test. <laughs> so now we've got to have the situation <laughs> where we've got to talk about reality. And reality is that the world is still run by fossil fuels. Our billionaires, our yeah. people with the hyphens, and why is it the Greens always have hyphenated names? Is there some strange cult they belong to? <laughs> And perhaps have a strange handshake as well. But, uh, I mean, the, the long and the oh, short dear. of it is, is that in reality, the world is still run on fossil fuel. And for people to be warmed, for us to have electricity, for us to have what is contemporary modern day life, we need electricity. And we need to share the ability to have electricity with the rest of the world who are denied it. And so the billionaires yeah. can go off and buy their diesel fueled um, generators and I understand in South Australia which has the most expensive electricity in Australia uh, something like at one point I heard a figure of 20 percent of the power was coming out of diesel generators I mean yep. seriously yeah. it is just a nonsense <laughs> and it's time we got our but it, but it... facts in line and as I said no more bushfires no more floods uh, because they've been elected it's all going to be good now look I I think, James Ashby, it is absolutely a disgrace that the poor and vulnerable in this country are cold on any day of the week. But right now, with this, you know, this polar in impact on our weather, we've got all this coal in the ground, but they're not allowed to dig it out. Or if they want to dig it out, there's five and six and eight years' worth of approvals in Queensland for that sort of stuff. You've got... Coal-fired power stations that are now not working as well because banks and super funds have been told don't invest in this sort of stuff. I mean, this is inhuman, James, what is being done right now. Gary, if you think it's bad now that people can't afford to have uh, the heater on or the air conditioner on in summer, uh, think about energy security. We do not have it. We are being told now on a daily basis that the security is not there. And to be quite frank, I think this national energy guarantee has failed. It really has. We've plugged an extension yep. lead in from Queensland. We take power from coal generators in Queensland and give it to New South Wales, Victoria and into South Australia. They might claim they don't have coal or they're, they're reducing their number of coal-fired power stations, but the reality is they're getting it from other states that do provide it from coal generation. Now, the other thing that needs to be stated here this Labor government have a better trigger than they think they, they might not, not, not have at the, at the present moment with the issue with Victoria not willing to go into gas. And the North West Shelf, if people can picture the size of the Great Barrier Reef, mm. on the North West Shelf, it's about the same size of the Great Barrier Reef, they call it the North West Shelf, which is full of gas. And there is no need to ask the states yep. for permission to use it. We've got over 30 retention leases sitting there that have been tested and proven that are sitting dormant because these massive oil and gas companies refuse to tap into them. They are storing this gas for when there is a shortage. And I'm telling you right now, there is a trigger for the federal government to enact that gas and pull in what Western Australia have, and that is a 15% gas reserve, which should be used for Australia first. 
And that, that will solve the problems. If you don't want to open more gas fields, that's fine. We've got plenty over there in Western Australia. Stop this idea of a virtual pipeline where they ship it around to the East Coast in boats. Build a pipeline and make it so that we yep. have energy security on the East Coast and we have it for the whole country.